Okay, so tonight we're going to tackle the next three methods, so let's get started. Um, the methods we're going to tackle are approved contract, performed service, and approved service. Approved service. So it obviously has to be done in, in order. Both parties have to approve the contract. So what this is going to say, first of all, you have to make sure that it is actually the, you know, a party, the right person approving it. Uh, so if the sender is the provider, then we said provider has approved. Otherwise, if the sender is the consumer, then we set the consumer ha has approved. And otherwise, we revert and say a sender is not a party to this contract. Um, perform service. So again, in this case, we have to verify that the sender is actually the provider. Otherwise, revert. Only the provider can perform the service. And we also have to verify that both the approved contract and has been approved by both parties and then you can set that to true. Approved service, so that's the next step once it's done, then all these two, these two boxes have to be checked if you will and then also that the, the service has been performed and then the consumer can approve the work. So anyway, um, so again we're using a lot, they look like simple simple method but we're using a lot of um, a lot of uh, checks to make sure that it's done properly and uh, these, these are still pretty simple methods um, because all they're really doing is is changing a boolean what's going to get interesting is the next thing we're going to tackle on this example is the pay for service so obviously we have to verify that everything has happened as it should and then we have to do the transfer from the consumer to the, the um, provider and then we will have covered the steps and we may think of something else and then of course it has to be tested uh, because we want to make sure that um, it is uh, working as intended. Uh, the other thing to remind you that's very important is, let's see, let's bring this up here. So again, we want, after we do anything significant, we want to uh, save it to um, GitHub. So this is so you you do the um, commit. Well, first you have to do the you check git status. So this will show us what's changed, which is what we'd expect. Git add. Get status again, you can see everything's there. And then we're gonna do git commit dash m, which is the message. If you don't put the dash m, it's gonna bring up a little um, editor and let you put it in there. Uh, added uh, code for contract performance, approval and performance. Okay, and then get, then we do a git push, and let's see if I, okay, I'm going to have to uh, go to my other browser here that you should not see, and copy my password um, and 
and there you go. So now our code is compiled. It's safely up in GitHub, and um, we can carry on from there. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. Uh, if it has, please um, give, give a like, please subscribe, please ring the bell to get notified of future videos, and please tell your friends. And uh, I will speak to you next time.